Hey, I want you to raise your hand if you've ever been personally victimized by boosted posts. If you have, I am so glad you're here. You are going to love this. If you've been tempted to launch a boosted post, if you have launched multiple boosted posts, listen, you're not alone. You're not alone. It's easy, right? You just go on there and you're like, do I want to boost? Heck yeah, I want to boost. Who doesn't want to love a good boost, right? And it's so simple. It's like who you want to target? Where are they? What's your goal? Boom, man, ads are easy. Now, I want to ask you, how many of you have done that and been like, this changed my business? At that boosted post was phenomenal. Everything everything changed. Now, listen, some of you are someone is going to message me and be like, no, boosted posts are life. And that's awesome because there are... Like, I'm so happy for you, but I will tell you that 99 out of a hundred of my clients do not see success from boosted posts because of these seven reasons I'm going to share with you today, why I do not do boosted posts. Now, here's the thing. I am not a, like, I am not anti Instagram ads, Facebook ads. In fact, I freaking love them. I love them for my business. I love them for my client's business. And I spent over $10,000 last month on ads on Instagram. So I'm a big, big fan, but boosted posts, in my opinion, are a trick. They're like a way to like make you think that you're doing something awesome. Like, oh, get a good boost. And in my opinion, it is not a strategic decision. It is an easy button and we're human and our brains are like, yes, I want to boost. Like, it, and it's not actually effective for you. So if we haven't met, I'm so glad you're here. My name is Ashley and I am a marketing expert. I have been doing marketing all day, every day for over a decade. I have worked with hundreds at this point of small business owners through my signature program, the Marketing Matters program. And I've also worked with um, and reported directly to the CMOs of Fortune 500 companies. So I've actually managed over $200 million on ads. And so what that means for you is you're about to get advice from someone who has spent a lot of money, who knows what works and what doesn't so that it can save you from making the same mistakes. So if you have ever seen Mean Girls and they raise their hand and they say, have you ever been personally victimized by Regina George? And everybody raised their hands. Like when I say that about boosted posts, you're probably like, yep, it's me. <clears throat> okay. Because it's easy. It's an easy button. So today I'm going to talk to you about the seven reasons why you shouldn't do a boosted post. And instead, I'm going to tell you exactly what you should do at the end. Okay. But here's why you should do, you should not do a boosted post. Okay. So number one. Or, or I think the main reason that you shouldn't do a boosted post is because you are limited in what you can do versus doing a targeted ad. So you're like, oh my gosh, what is this targeted ad? So when you do a boosted post from your phone, that's one thing. There's a whole nother thing called the Facebook ads manager. And that is where all the magic happens. That is where you can really get massive success. It is not from doing a boosted post on your phone. It's two completely different things. Okay. One requires a good amount of setup and time and getting things in order. And one, anyone can do anytime you just click boost. These are, this is the age and demographic and interest and location done. Okay. So I know you want to hear about these reasons why you shouldn't do a boosted post, okay? I feel like this is going to be the most watched YouTube video, most listened to podcast episode because everybody's like, wait, what can we do? And honestly, I just don't want you to waste even $5 a day. I don't. I don't want you to waste $5 a day. I would rather you be strategic with every single dollar that you spend because whether you know this because you're familiar with some of my content or not, you can get results with 5 or $10 a day. I have clients that ha that get results with five or $10 a day. In fact, just this week, gosh, I did a story about testimonials and they just kept coming in from all my clients. I'm like, why are y'all hiding all these stories from me? One was a, a girl, her name is Marissa. She's a hairstylist and is really good at extensions in Chicago. And she spent $33 this past week on ads and got a $300 color consult. Hello, that's a 10 to one return. One of my clients, Blair, Lord have mercy. I've never heard of this in my life. Um, she spent 48 cents. Her first person that clicked on her ad was an $1,100 sale on her course. You can message her. It's crazy. It's wild. I mean, it's not surprising because they, she offers something very specific. So if someone's searching for that, 
specific training and they see a page that has that training, like they're going to buy. But um, you could be sitting on a gold mine and you wouldn't believe it if you're just used to boosted posts. Because if you're used to boosted posts, you're probably just scarred. You're probably like, I hate ads. Ads make me sad. But I want you to know that ads can actually help the right people find you. Marketing is all about findability and being findable for the very people that you created your business for. So let's talk about the seven mistakes in the seven. Let me rephrase. Let's talk about the seven reasons I don't like boosted posts. Okay. So number one, you can't exclude people. So I like to run ads and probably you do too. And you want to reach new people. And so when you want to reach new people, guess what you want to do? You want to exclude the people that already follow you or engage with you or have taken some action, watched a video, been to your website, whatever that is. You can't do that with boosted posts. With a targeted ad, an ads manager, you absolutely can build audiences of your first party data, um, as well as people that have engaged with you, followed you, been to your site, and you can actually exclude those people so that you can reach new people. When you do a boosted post, you're at risk to just show to all the people that are already following you. Now, granted, what we all know is that you can have a huge audience and your actual audience doesn't see it, which is why I'm a big advocate for actually remarketing and reminding your audience of you. And that's actually something I specifically talk about in my training for small business owners who want to go all in and learn this stuff the right way and get results quickly. But with boosted posts, you cannot exclude. And so you really can't control segmentation. Like you really can't control, okay, I want this amount of money for new people, this amount for existing people. So, I, so for that reason, number one, you can't exclude. So I don't like that. And number two, you can't add your custom audiences. Your custom audiences are your first party data. Like if you have a website list of a um, thousand, you can actually upload an audience of people that look, act, and behave like your current customers. You cannot do that with boosted posts. And so again, it's a limitation that you can't target your people. Number three, all the audience targeting isn't actually there. <laughs> For those of you that are like, what? <laughs> what I mean is when you launch a targeted ad and ads manager, Facebook has a ton of really awesome audiences that you can target. For example, one of my clients, her name is Anna, and she has an interior design business. And she sells a course that helps interior designers do their projects more quickly and easily. And so she runs her ads targeting interior designers. So, she, so she's at... Uh, a sale a day every day this month so far, which is awesome, but it makes sense because she's targeting a specific offer to a specific group of people and she can target those people with a targeted ad. But with boosted posts, all the audiences that you can normally select from, they don't all exist. Like, like there are audiences that are super specific that you could select from, but you can't do it on a boosted post. There's only so many audiences you can select from for boosted posts. So you're just missing out on super specific audiences that you can target more easily with a targeted ad. So that's number three. Number four is you can't add an and statement. I love a good and statement. And that's a really in the weeds tip. So some of you are like, man, Ashley's spilling the beans if you know ads. Um, but that's a really big deal. So what that means is like, I love when my clients do an and statement. So one of my clients is a fitness coach. So let's just pretend that she is targeting moms. She can say, hey, I want to target moms and people that have a health interest or are looking or love yoga. Like you can actually say, and I want this person who is in this and that has this interest or this behavior and they also have this behavior. That's advantageous, right? Because you can be more specific to say, I don't just want all moms. I want all moms and people that, that are interested in keto and people that are doing Whole30. Like you can be super specific. And so without that layer of specificity, being able to say, I want this and this, you are targeting a broad audience on um, Boosted Post that you, you, you're targeting a lesser defined audience on Boosted Post than what you can on a targeted ad. Number five is A-B testing. So you can't do that with Boosted posts. And if you can, someone message me. I don't know how you could do that. Because uh, A-B testing, what that really means is you always want to be testing something. I teach the business owners in my program who either want to scale to six figures or take their six and seven or even eight figure business and ramp that up. I teach them always how to test. You should always be testing something. And 
I love in ads manager, how you can set it up so that you're always testing an audience or an ad or a strategy and you, in a boosted post, you're just saying, boom, go out there. You're not actually testing something side by side. So you're not actually getting learning. You're just saying, is this one thing getting me results? But you're not saying like, I wonder, oh, this, this one's performing better than this one. Like there's no comparison. You're just post, post and praying. A boosted post is is a post and pray on steroids. That's what we should call it, okay? It is not super strategic. Number six is you can't control where your ad serves. Again, a nitty gritty detail. But what I mean by that is you may only want your ad to serve on Instagram. You may only want your ad to serve on Facebook. You may only want your ad to serve on stories. Ooh, you can just target stories. Yes. I can show you how, (laughs) but on a boosted post, you're not, you're just saying, put it anywhere. So you don't know if all your ad money is getting spent on messenger, Facebook messenger. That's an option, but you, you don't get control over that. What if all your ads are serving on messenger? What if all your ads are serving on other third-party websites that Facebook owns? It's not that that's a bad idea. It's that you just don't get the control when you do a boosted post. All right, number seven, the last thing is you can't optimize towards what you want. You know how when you go to open a boosted post, it says, what do you want? Messages, traffic, or profile visits? You think that sounds good, right? You're like, yeah, I want profile visits. Yes, I want traffic. Oh, I want messages. But you're just getting volume. You don't want people to see your ad. You don't want people to go to your website if it's just people. Do you? Or do you want the right people who are actually going to buy or sign up for your email list or become a lead by taking an action? Maybe it's a contact form. You want the right people. And when you set up a targeted ad, you can actually tell Facebook and Instagram, hey, I only want you to optimize towards people that are most likely to buy on my website. But you can actually set that up. That's exactly what I teach business owners in the program, how to set up your tracking. Because if you're not tracking, then you're getting a bunch of people. Yeah, but are you getting a bunch of the right people? You need to give the algorithm a signal to say, hey, this is the thing that can re- that really pays off. Find me more people that do this thing. And you can't do that in a boosted post. And here's the thing. I think I mentioned this already, but I spent over $10,000 last month on Instagram ads. I love Instagram ads. I am getting connected with the women that I created my business for who want to go all in on themselves, who want to pay to be in a room with other people to get ideas and to just fast track their businesses. And that's what's happening. But I only want the people that are willing to go all in. And when I can optimize towards that action and set a targeted ad and A-B test and be super specific by adding and statements and exclude my current audience so I reach new people, then I am set up for success and my ads are thriving. And yours can be too when you know how to run a targeted ad the right way. And you cannot do that with a boosted post. So yes, am I an Instagram ads fan? Heck yeah, I am. Am I a boosted post fan? No, it's an easy button. In fact, anything for the future that's that easy to be like a boom, buddy, boom, boom, I would be weary. I'd be like, why is this so easy? Okay. It's like an easy button. That's why, I mean, imagine if, you know, 75% of you has spent $5 a day for a couple of days. How much money is that? <laughs> That's a lot of money. Um, and I would rather you pour your money into a strategic, well thought out plan that can get you leads quickly. Just like Marissa, who is a hairstylist, just like Jane and Jill, who are fitness coaches, who are getting leads and getting into conversations, just like Julianne, who's a network marketer who already had a seven-figure business with net, network marketing and is starting over and already getting into conversations. You can get leads. All of those women, Whitney, a Hashimoto's nutritionist, all of those people got results in their first week of ads. Do you know why? Because they invested in a skill to do it right the first time. So they decided I'm going to trade money instead of time. Because here's the thing, money you can get back. Time you can't. You cannot get time back. How much time are you wasting trying to figure this out on your own? Don't do that. Learn this skill. And that's what you learn inside the Marketing Matters program is exactly how to set up this targeted ad that I'm talking about. And here's the great news. You don't just learn that. 
you learn marketing skills. You learn far more than just how to set up a targeted ad the right way. You learn how to get the right people to find you and you don't do it alone. You get to do it in a group with other people right there beside you, giving you feedback, pouring into your business with someone who's going to be cheering you on and holding you accountable to do what you said that you're going to do. So I hope that was helpful. I would love to get your feedback, comment, reply, anything. Give me a subscribe. Hey, do you want more free ideas, free strategies on YouTube and on the podcast? If so, hit subscribe and like you want more of this content because this alone could save you the $5 a day for the rest of your life that you were considering spending on Boosted Post. So this episode alone just saved you a lot of money, right? And a lot of stress knowing that you should probably just pause that Boosted Post. Now, if you're the one person that's getting results from Boosted Post, please message me. I want to hear your targeting, your audience. I want to hear all about it. Um, and I'll do another episode and we'll talk about why maybe that is working for you. Because what I do know is there's no nevers and always. There's always there's going to be something that works for everybody a little bit differently. But what I have found is Boosted Post is typically not as successful as a targeted ad. I hope this is helpful. Subscribe. If you love this episode, please do a review. It would mean the world to me. I'm so thankful for you. And I'll see you on the next episode.